So according to traditional elven fairy lore, changelings. Changelings are replacements of humans, often newborns, who in exchange for their stolen child, an, an elf child, will be left in its stead. While this idea has been passed down for centuries, uh, it's not actually a traditional practice of the elven fairy. And to say that it's from low reproductive uh, rate is not, in my opinion, a reason to further this ungrounded belief. Although humans have been granted temporary access to the other world from time to time, these seers would seem probably, uh, I, I would not say that they would think they were stolen, uh, and, and no sickly fey were left in their place. It may be that the changing theory is, is used at times when in relation to the practice of uh, transitioning, transignation, or the belief may have stemmed from the demonization of the fairy folk during the Dark Ages. Um, books of fairy today um, that you might find in the New Age or so forth, they still insist on emphasizing the idea of fairy theft, and it may be very well that it happened at some point. It may be that this happened when um, they did steal uh, select humans to uh, breed with, or at, uh, as an act of rebellion by uh, some of the other world beings. The preservation of the elven fairy blood was always a factor, and so the only way it would have been necessary to go against this idea of self-preservation, you know, or go against this idea is for self-preservation. Um, but elven fairy interaction with humans is not at all common, and sexual unions between them is even less common. The only time something close to fairy the theft appears in our lore is in the case of transignation, when some may not have been willing or even aware of themselves being used as a simulacrum. Uh, in the anthropological examination of the elven fairy, uh, like in uh, W.Y. Wentz's Elven Fairy Faith of the Celtic Countries, uh, a new and more likely story of the fairy f theft takes place. It's in the form, perhaps, with the like the invasion of the Milesian humans and the attempt at entra entrapping the Danubian race and their flight for the hills and caves. And they had occasionally, I'm sure, kidnapped the unattended offspring of the people who had conquered them. Furthermore, the elvish druids themselves, after being driven underground to hide in the dense forests and old groves, well, they may have kidnapped potential apprentices to pass down their knowledge to, um, and then returning them back to the society of men. This, these types of misunderstandings occur frequently in history, and it will, it seems right from a certain point of view, and yet not at all correct. I mean, those ideas posed prior might account for the disappearances and thefts, but not the idea of the actual changeling oops, who uh, returns uh, or transitions from the other world uh, to the parents of the elven fairy being. Uh, an alternative model suggests that um, an otherworldly uh, elven fairy, you know, ass assuming human form, um, would exist in the human simulacrum or shell, uh, while humans have no real word for it. I I've come to know it personally as transignation, and it definitely happens much more frequently than any, any changelings. Um, from cases like the of Robert Kirk and perhaps Thomas Reimer and others, we know that select mortals, perhaps, of elven fairy lineage have been taken to the otherworld fairy land. It is about the only time in fairy lore when the otherworld beings interact with the mortal in a surreal yet vividly tangible, tangible manner. Uh, on the other hand, we know that the, at some point during a person's more able years, like sometimes around puberty or, or later, um, certain abilities, uh, the transition or transignation can take place, you know, um, on the part of the other world being. If somebody's uh, life path, you know, they, they kind of, <sighs> I didn't want to use the wa word walk-in, it seems to denote other things for people. But at any rate, elves and fairies have the ability to also disorient the wanderers that happen upon enchanted fairy woods. Um, there's the old saying that fairy folk live in old oaks, so, and that's, that's derived from that belief. Um, superstitious survivors of the fairy faith warn travelers passing through such forests to wear their clothes backwards or inside out, reverse, to ward away the enchantments and glamour that could get someone lost, you know. Clouds, heavy mist, dense fog, you know, all related to the other world, um, the dimensions, elf and fairy. Uh, Physical wizards would sometimes even use fog to aid in accessing the other world, and under you know such conditions, the other world beings can more easily transition into the surface world. So, 
Um, mis misleading wanderers even through uh, a forest may not be necessarily a malicious or even playful act. Sometimes the elven fairy just want to keep, you know, someone the hell away from certain locations, maybe powerful with thresholds or, or portals between the worlds. So, um, some things to think about as uh, a couple of questions come up as far as uh, transitioning, uh, changelings, things of that nature.